everywhere Jump up, destiny's calling You and your friends have so much to share Swinging through life on this great adventure The spirit of nature will see you through There are lessons to learn about life and its mysteries Lessons of love that are waiting for you There's joy all around you, nature is wondrous, but beware, the law of the jungle has a lesson for life, but you can still soar right up to the sky, hold your head up high, keep your courage inside, and sure as the sun and the stars up above, you will discover. We're safe here, but we have no time to waste. We must find Grizzle and his gang. There are wolves in the pack who would like to have Grizzle as leader. Jocko is one of them. He must keep in touch with Grizzle, but we don't know how. Lala and Mowgli, I want you to find out how Grizzle and Jocko communicate. Report to me at sundown. been for once. Lala, what do you want from me? I wanted to wish you good morning. Here, I brought you a little present. You brought me a present, Lala? Okay, where's the catch? Well, actually, I wanted to see your father for a minute, but he's not home, so I thought maybe he was with you. So the rabbit's for him, is it? Right. No, no, it's for both of you, silly. Thanks. Why do you want to see Jocko? I want to give him a message from Michaela. Huh? From Michaela? I guess you know my grandfather hasn't been feeling well. He knows that it's time to choose his successor as leader of the pack. And he thinks that he should talk the matter over with Jocko. Oh, a new leader. Well, that's very important. Sure, I can tell you where he is, but you have to promise to do something for me in return. What? I'll tell you where Jocko is on one condition. That you come and see me once in a while. <laughs> I'd be delighted to promise you that. Do you mean it? Of course I mean it, silly. I like being with you. It's fun. If you like, I could come every day. I thought Mowgli was the one you liked. Hmm? Mowgli? That hairless little monkey? Don't make me laugh. <laughs> if you want to see Jocko, go to the drinking place on the River Wyangunga. Huh? The River Wyangunga? Lala, man. 
makes a terrific spy, but did she have to call me a hairless monkey? Well, I found out what we wanted to know. Yeah, but you didn't have to call me a hairless monkey. Don't be silly, Mowgli. I didn't mean it. It was just a ploy to make him talk. signals to one another. He's walking in a straight line. And now he's wagging his tail. A signal! So that's how he communicates with Grizzle. Shh. They're leaving. I'll follow the jackals. They'll lead me right to Grizzle. You deal with Jocko. perch right in my way. You'd think they knew I was coming. Huh? Oh no! I lost them. If it isn't Lala, what are you doing so far from home, my dear? Not much. Just following you around. Following... me? Uh... <laughs> I'm just kidding. I asked Dusty where you were and he told me. He did, did he? How helpful of him. I, I must remember to thank him for it. I came because I have a message for you from my grandfather. Ah! A, a, a message for me from Michaela? He wants to see you. He says he hopes he'll drop in one of these days. He just wants to talk. Talk to me? Do you know what about? Mm-mm. He didn't say. And how is Akela these days? Well, he's awfully weak. He hardly ever leaves his lair. And he's been having trouble eating. 
It's hard for him to chew. That's too bad. His fangs are wearing out, so he can't chew now? Uh-huh. Oh. He's so weak that he never leaves his lair, did you say? Mm, he just moans and groans all day. No wonder Akela wants me to visit him. He needs an old pal to cheer him up. It'll be a pleasure. You're the one who'll need cheering up when Grandfather's finished with you. It's a shame you lost the jackals, Mowgli. But don't worry, you'll find them again. I know I will, but it makes me Mowgli. mad you'll track them all that way and then lose them in the end. Hmm. But where could they have been going? Stony Plain isn't on the way to anywhere that would make a good hiding place. All it means is that Grizzle's hideout is further than we thought, because that's where they were headed. You're right. Tomorrow I'll go back and pick up their trail. Any sign of Shere Khan, Akru? No, Mother and I watched his lair all day, but he never showed up. If you want to know what I think, Jocko's the one we should be worried about. It was fun stringing him along, but I didn't like the way he kept asking me what kind of shape a Kayla was in. He was much too nosy, and I'm scared he may try something. Yep, but Akela is staying in Lurie's lair until all this trouble is over, so he'll be safe. Once a wolf has chosen you for his prey, you can never be safe until the wolf is defeated. Remember that. It may take time, but the patient hunter will catch the prey. Akela is the prey and they won't give up. But then, neither will we. The battle is just beginning. If we are to win it, now we must rest. Good night. There's nothing to worry about. Lala told me Akela's on his last legs. She says he's so weak he can't even chew his own food. Dope! Don't believe everything she says. Have you never heard of disinformation? What does that mean? It means she could be lying. No, Lala wouldn't do such a thing. Wouldn't she just? You're going to get the truth out of Lala. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, my friends. Oh, I say. This looks tasty. Would I be correct in assuming that you have a job for me? Yes, Chill. We need your skill as a scout. No one in the jungle has better eyesight. We're looking for somebody and we can't find him. Do you remember Grizzle? I certainly do. He's that loathsome wolf who was banished from the pack. Banished or not, he's still here. He's hiding somewhere in the jungle, and we can't find him. We're sure he's up to no good. He has Jocko and the others all stirred up. He wants them to throw Akela out. I think Shere Khan's behind it myself. Do you indeed? Hmm. Well, if that gang takes over the pack, it'll be a disaster. Not many of the wolves see it that way, but one has taken a stand against them, Lurie. Good grief. All by herself? Well, no, not exactly. She has her cubs with her, but she won't let us help because she says it's between wolves. I do see your problem. How very awkward. You wish to be of assistance, but you do not wish her to know it. Is that it? Hmm. That's it in a nutshell. I can arrange that for you. How wise you were to retain my services. Intelligence gained by aerial reconnaissance is an extremely valuable weapon in any war. When you find them, you'll let us know right away, won't you? Thank you. 
Tell me the truth. Is Akela really sick? Don't you believe me? You've certainly got a nerve. I've looked everywhere I can think of and I didn't find a trace of them. I'm beginning to think we're wasting our time. Dusty didn't mention Grizzle even once. I don't know if he's being cagey or if it's because he really doesn't know anything. We've watched for days and there's been no sign of Shere Khan. They're all gone. We can relax. Our troubles are over. No, Akru. We mustn't think that way. We must stay alert. The danger isn't past. I can smell it on the wind. There are too many puzzles, too many things wrong. Wolves and jackals have never been friends till now. Lala can't get a straight word out of Dusty. Grizzle and Shere Khan disappear as though they had never been. I feel I would like to know why, wouldn't you? Yes, I would. A lot of really weird things have happened around here. Then we'll find out. But we must all do our best to be as brave as Alexander. Oh, <gasps> right! right. into Akela's lair tonight. They broke in? When I got home from the meeting, I was really tuckered out, so I went right to bed. But I couldn't sleep without going over to check Akela's lair first. It was awful. I noticed a strange smell. And when I looked around, the place was a shambles. There were claw marks all over the place. But the worst thing was that Grandfather's bed was ripped to pieces. goodness he wasn't there. Do you think it was Grizzle? It could be. I looked to see if they'd left any clues. There were paw prints all over the place. I'm sure there must have been at least four of them. We have to tell the others. Kichi, will you go and find Lurie and tell her what's happened? Ask her to meet us at Akru's lair as soon as she can. Okay! We were very wise to move Akela out of harm's way. Getting rid of him is clearly their first step. I want to go back to the lair and check out those paw prints. That's a waste of time! We know who did it. I think we do. Let's split up and try to track them. Okay, Mother. Aha! I knew I'd spot them. Luck? Yes, sir. I wouldn't be here. I know where they are. Good work. Tell me. They have gone to the cold lair. They're at the cold lair? If that's where they're holed up, no wonder we couldn't find them. I saw Grizzle and two of his thugs. There goes another one. Old Jocko's in on the plot, too. I know. Thank you very much, Chill. Where 
can they be? There's the man cub. <laughs> Around, around the mulberry bush, the monkey huh? chased the weasel. Bagheera, what's gotten into you? Hey! Uh, uh, well, hello, Mowgli. Long time no see. Well? Listen, Bagheera, have you seen any stray wolves in our part of the jungle? Stray wolves, you say? Not that I recall. Try and think, Bagheera. Let me see. No, no strangers at all. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure, but I have heard of a stray wolf around. Believe it or not, Chill the Kite claims to have seen that miserable, good-for-nothing Grizzle and his gang. He found Grizzle! Tell me where he saw him! I don't remember. Why is it so important? I'm not supposed to say. Well, really, Mowgli, if you can't trust your oldest friend in the jungle, there's nothing to discuss. Please, Bagheera. Hmm. The impertinence. Very well. Now, <gasps> Chill said that Grizzle and his gang were at the Cold Lair. You mean it? They're living at the Cold Lair? Uh huh. Thanks a lot! That should do the trick. Lurie did ask me not to interfere, but they need help to fight Grizzle. The Cold Lair. Is that what he said? Mm-hmm. Now we know where our enemy is, we must lay our plans carefully. Our friends Bagheera and Baloo have been helping us in secret, haven't they? Mm -hmm. Thanks to them, this is a battle we shall win. Mm -hmm. Take good care of you Then we can all live 